You have to be able to stay connected and to give back to places and people that have given to you. And Bucknell is a place that has given to me. Well, there were many great teachers here who had impacts on me and with whom I was close. But certainly Jack Wheatcroft was my you know, significant mentor as a writer. My father went here and my sister and now my children and my grandchild. So it's been a complete family. At Bucknell, it was all about you're sitting in with a bunch of bio majors, but now you're in art in the dark with engineers, you're with like everybody, right? And being able to maneuver between these different groups and, and interact with them and play with them in the sandbox, I think all sort of started at Bucknell. I'm very blessed to have found what I was called to do as soon as I finished college. So I signed up to be a teacher. I came back to New York and I served as the founding school social worker and counselor at um, Uncommon Schools, which is a, is a high performing charter school network in the city. And I was actually recruited by the National Office Boys and Girls Clubs of America to lead their teen youth development work. And so I returned to, um, to a local organization, which was what brought me to Kipps Bay. We do good work. We serve about 10,000 children across the Bronx daily, which is a big deal. I think what motivates me is that I always say if I don't have hope anymore, then I need to find a new job, but I'm still so full of hope and so full of passion for the work that we do. And I think that that's what drives me. I am thankful that me keeping my eye on the prize of children's well-being um, is being acknowledged by Bucknell. It is, it is the, a great honor for me. I began writing here in a really passionate way as a 20-year-old kid. No one asks anyone to make art. You do it out of your own strange mishigas and compulsion. And you have to figure it out. You have to figure out your own path. You know, my work unfolds because I don't stop. You know, I'm, I'm gonna make my art and I'm going to write my books and I'm going to figure out how to do that in conjunction with a day job. And for me, the day job that was also just natural to my skin was teaching. You know, writing in many genres, uh, mostly as a poet, but also writing memoir and writing uh, history. The Burning Tigress, my book on the Armenian Genocide and America's Response. Um, writing literary essays and literary criticism. You know, my books have taken me on an interesting journey. When my sister, who also was a graduate of Bucknell, passed away, the money that she gave to me, uh, I gave to Bucknell in her name. And I just feel fortunate that we were able to, to do something like that. And the last week of school, somebody said there's a meeting and you have, we all have to go over. And when we went over, I found out it was for the class reporter. And somebody said, maybe Joe will do it. So, oh, all right. <laughs> and that was it. And that takes me time. I call a lot of people. And that's fun. Every time I come back to Bucknell, we come basically the same way. And I, you can see the... Uh, church steeples, and I've always loved that. And I think about it sometimes at night, you know, and it's just, uh, it, it's like a part of me. Bucknell kind of came into my genes, to be honest with you. I come from a long legacy. So Bucknell's kind of been in my culture since, since I was born. I've always known that I wanted to be a doctor. And I was also, though, always fascinated with the military, but being a doctor in the military is kind of like on steroids, right? You have to practice this in a totally different setting. The opportunity presented itself for me to, to take this position at a VA hospital in Vermont. It gave me an opportunity to do some leadership skills. I was still able to be a doctor. It's a great synergy of being able to do that, but with a greater mission of 
taken care of veterans. I've had great accomplishments in my life, which I'm very proud of, but it wasn't, you know, done just by myself, right? It was a team effort.